Hello. In this video, we are going to take the canvas that we built and put onto our main window, and we are going to draw on it. Um, so I've taken some time to kind of draw some things on here, and I'm going to go about how we do this. Um, but a couple things that's good when you have this canvas object is to understand a little bit of um, the orientation of things. So the top left hand corner is your origin. So this is 0, 0, and this is considered the positive x direction, and this is considered the positive y direction. So everything that you draw on here has to be done using x, y coordinates um, where this is positive x and this is positive y. So for example here, you've drawn a green rectangle down below, and the way the rectangle gets drawn is we give a top left hand corner. This is 150 in the x, 400 in the y. So 150 in the x, 400 in the y. And then we give a bottom right hand corner. So that's 220 in the x, 480 in the y. And then some magic happens where it actually draws a rectangle using those two reference points. So let's go in and let's take a look at this. So if I just take a second, I'm going to pause and comment most of this stuff out. And I've commented most of it out except for this, these first three lines. So what this does, the way we do it is, what we have is when we made our canvas is create a canvas object called canvas one. So we've constructed it here and then we've packed it onto our main window. So to draw different things, we use functions associated with canvas one. So I'm gonna say canvas one dot. And if I type it in here, you'll see there's a whole bunch of create and create a whole bunch of different things. So one of them is called create polygon. So create polygon, the way it works, it takes a whole bunch of XY pairs. And so this would be the first XY pair, that would be the second XY pair, and that would be the third XY pair. And it connects them in order. So it connects 10, 10 to 20, 30, 20, 30 to 30, 20. And then it will take this last point and connect it back to the first one. And then finally, we can include a named parameter and that just is fill to red. And then I can use create line. And the way create line works, it takes an XY pair and an XY pair, and it draws a line between those two points. Again, we can use the name parameter here, fill, and we can set the color of that. And then finally, we can create text. And we can set the center position of the text using an XY pair. We can use a named parameter text to indicate the, the, the actual string we want in that text. And we can use a named parameter to indicate the actual color that we want. So if I run this, we get this, there's that polygon, which is actually just a triangle, there's the line, and then I put the word origin there. These next three points, these create the Y position. And there that is there, so we've drawn a line, we've drawn a polygon, which is that rectangle, and we've drawn our text. We get this, there's my top one, and then finally, this gives me that final rec green rectangle at the bottom where I've actually drawn, a, I've used a create oval to draw a top left and a top bottom right point to show where that's drawn. So if I run this, there it is. So being kind of creative with these, these tools, you can color all sorts of things onto your canvas and you can do some interesting things. I hope that helped. Have a great day.